Hey, it's Nay, and welcome to my channel. So, today I want to talk about the clean slash fresh scents that I own. Um, yeah, just wanted to talk about the ones that I own, and, you know, talk about why, because clean and fresh for fragrances is not my favorite um, scent type. So if you'd like to hear what clean and fresh fragrances have caught my eye, I'll, even though that is not my favorite, keep on watching. But before you come on watching, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join the fam. Um, but let's just, just jump right into it. So clean and fresh slash like aquatic. I I put aquatic in that clean and fresh category. Um, isn't my favorite scent. Not because I don't like the smell of clean, because I do. Um, and while we're doing that, actually, I'm going to light a candle. This is um, mainly indulgence Azure Sands. It's got notes of ylang ylang, Moroccan orange, and white cedar. I absolutely love this fragrance. This fragrance. This candle and the scent, obviously so delicious okay I've had this for so long now it's about more than halfway done at this point okay so it always takes it a second to like because it's getting quite old anyway so the reason why right because I do like to smell clean but for me, it's kind of like I could just shower uh, and get that same fresh, clean scent. I always kind of want to smell like a little more than that. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. So I have five scents in my fragrance house. Uh, here um and basically i think i have about 36 maybe 37 fragrances if i count my um my like travel size fragrances i don't count the testers so travel size are bigger i have i would say about like mid to late 30s and out of that I have five fragrances. I would consider on that fresh, clean, aquatic type of family. Um, and this is not, this doesn't mean necessarily that uh, that is the family it falls under. That is just the vibe it gives me, um, which to me is more important. So I'm going to just go in and talk about it, talk about them and what uh, the goal is, right? So I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to read the notes. I'm going to um, break it down about what about this particular fresh, clean or aquatic scent made me want to go buy it. Uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna go through, just looking up the last one. And as I mentioned, this does it just because I consider it within that fresh, clean, aquatic type of realm doesn't necessarily mean that that's um, what the fragrance family will be, because I actually haven't even looked up any of these to see if that is what they fall under. All right, so. Let's start off with the most affordable one, which is this one right here. And I'm also, I do have two, I'm gonna mention if I want if I would repurchase it or get a bigger one type thing. So the first one is this one, which is Cell Ocean from Gourmand Beauty, which the bigger bottle of these are 20 bucks for the EDPs and then like the body sprays and stuff, which comes even bigger, are $26, which is for me, supremely affordable. Uh, this is white floral, salty, fruity, marine, and fresh. Those are the main accords. 
uh, this was lodged in 2016 and the notes are honeysuckle sea salt and lily of the valley those are the notes for it I would consider this I would say it's, I would say it's unisex I feel like a man could definitely wear this and that would be okay and I do think many I think many um fresh aquatic clean type of scents are unisex as far as I'm concerned I don't think they have to they necessarily lean feminine or masculine I, I, I do like, I, I don't really smell, smell the salty, like it's very slight. It's definitely leans kind of a little more of the sweet for this particularly salty aquatic um, type of marine scent. It's very nice. It's very nice. It's clean, but there has a hint of sweetness to it that just gives me a little bit more to work with than just a clean scent. I just feel like if I just wanted clean, I would just bathe. Like, that's it. <laughs> like, I already paid my water bill, like, type thing. This is really nice, and I just appreciate that it is $20 or $26. Um, I, I don't know if they still sell the EDP. They might. Um, so then it's $20. If not, they all do have a body spray or hair spray. My hair, hair mist slash body mist for $26. So regardless of one of those two prices, it's super affordable, and I absolutely love this brand i'm not sure if this video is going to drop first or i went and got like a pack from tj maxx that has this one and like six other fragrances from this particular brand i'm not sure which one's going to drop first but i do have that video as well so that would be my first one and i would i purchase the bigger version of this i want to say yes i really do like how this smells and i really really also like the price point for this longevity is not supremely long but fresh scents for me fresh aquatic clean scents for me don't last that long on my body i would say well when i woke up in the morning this was completely gone i didn't smell anything of this at all but let's just say i want to say about like five four hours maybe more towards that four hour range this lasted um which isn't terrible honestly and for the 20 to 26 dollar range i would just keep respraying this if i want to smell like this like in the summer or something the next one is clean reserve uh but specifically radiant nectar i absolutely love this fragrance so so much i remember when i first smelt it um in the i don't actually want to, to there you go i first smelt this in um in the store the sephora store and oh my gosh it was so nice my friend actually went and recommended the whole clean reserve line she said she had the entire line and i was like all right fine let me smell this and i was shook guys i was shook i sweated on my hand and i was shook i was shook i was shook so the main accords are musky fruity powdery sweet amber aquatic floor woody fresh Family the family is floral musk um so like i said it doesn't the the, for, the family might not always fall under fresh but they're for me i can smell that fresh or aquatic um scent in these um and both the first two so far have both the fresh and aquatic scent in them as an accord this was made launched in 2020 so it's relatively new top notes are pear and ambrette Middle notes are tobacco, blossom, orris, and carrot seeds. And the base note is musk and broxin and white cedar extract. Um, I absolutely love this fragrance. It smells so nice. This definitely leans feminine to me because it's sweeter than the Cell Ocean. That's, I think that salt in there may have toned down the sweetness. So although I don't really smell the salt like that, it did something. Whereas there's no salt in here. I don't um and so it really did something something oh it's just so lovely and i definitely this is definitely more leaning towards feminine although i wouldn't be upset if a man wore it i just don't think it's for that purpose mm. 
so lovely and i like how it smells on me i would say the the longevity is fairly fairly decent on this i would say it lasted about five and a half to six hours for me which is miraculous this was miraculous this is as of right now i haven't obviously tried really worn a lot of these because for me these are more of my spring summer scents and i've gotten them only in the past month or two just so i can have them just in case um and i do wear this type of thing to bed and this is i think the second longest wearing one for me the next one is versace bright crystal which is so popular so 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 bright crystal versace bright crystal what did i say it's the edt it's an edt um the main accords are flora fresh aquatic citrus woody fresh spicy and rose i don't know what the heck fresh spicy means but okay this was dropped in 2006 so this is an oldie but a goodie this is top notes is yuzu pomegranate and ice middle notes are peony lotus and magnolia base notes is musk mahogany and amber this is really nice this is a very very recent purchase for me so i can't speak to the longevity of this um yet but uh, this is so nice it gives me it's so it's something different this is definitely a feminine fragrance for me hardcore i would i don't think i would like this at all on like a male definitely a super f feminine fragrance the bottle super feminine i like that the juice is like can you see how like the juice is so pink um guys what's on my face y'all was gonna let me keep talking and not tell me there's something on my face anyway i really 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 enjoy this fragrance i think it has something to do with that yuzu so i actually use a face mask that has yuzu in it so i know i just like yuzu period like the scent of it is just really nice I'm not sure what ice is supposed to smell like. That's lost on me. But I also love peony. Peony is my favorite flower. Ugh, I love the smell of peony, the look of peony. Peony as a whole is peonies are just amazing. Amber is always something to have and, and musk is amber and musk are always something to have in a fragrance for me. I think I think that they always add a little pizzazz and and depth and um go the good type of age to aging or like grown to a fragrance uh so i think this is although it's older like really old much older it's a, such a goodie and i would probably always keep this in my stash uh would i own a bigger version heck yeah heck yeah even for the price that whatever the price point is i would own whatever the smallest big version is I'm going to actually save my favorite for last. So the next one is oops, Chance um, by Chanel. It's the Eau Fraiche. Eau Fraiche. Eau Fresh. I don't know how you're supposed to say that, but it's the green one. This has main accords are woody, citrus, aromatic, floral, musky, powdery, earthy, patchouli, white floral, and soft, spicy. So somehow this has not one fresh clean aquatic anything really you're gonna tell me this has nothing is that what you're telling me i don't know that sounds interesting Okay, so on Sephora, it says the fragrance family is fresh, scent type fresh citrus and fruits. Did I click something wrong? Hold on. You're going to tell me. I'm shook right now that these, these are the main accords. Whatever. Sephora agrees with me. Fragrantica, which is what I've been using, has does not agree with me, but Sephora agrees with me. But I'm going to read off the Fragrantica notes. It has in here top notes of lemon, cedar, and citron, middle notes of water, hy hyacinth. This look, this pink pepper jasmine, 
base notes of patchouli, white musk, vetiver, teak wood, iris, and amber. Are we catching? Are we catching similarities here? There is something, like I said, musk and amber in that base note really do something for me in my fresh and aquatic fragrances, clean fresh aquatic fragrances. The lemon and citron are probably what makes this smell so fresh to me. Citron is citrus, which is lemon, right? Okay, so just say they are two lemon in there, yeah? Um, I'm not sure what water hyacinth hy 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 smells like, but it has the word water in there. You know what I mean? The pink pepper gives it some type of little spice, a little bubble, a little something in there. Bubble, get up, guanga bubble. Mm, something is so lovely in here. This whole thing is just great for me i'm very excited to wear this in the spring and summer it's just wonderful this dropped in 2007 i believe let me check launched in 2007 i don't muscle now this you i really don't think you can go wrong with any of the chanel's and if i had those type of funds i would own every single chanel fragrance because i have not come across one i do not like and i really want the noir oh my gosh this smells so good Whew, and I have Coco Mademoiselle, as you can see. I love a Chanel. Chanel is just that girl. Chanel is that girl. Ugh, one of my favorite <laughs> YouTubers says that all the time. Okay, you can never go with wrong with Chanel, darling. <laughs> I love her so much. Anyway, my last one, let me get this moving. The last favorite, this is my favorite one, is Ocean De Geo. Ocean of Giawaya by Giorgio Armani. Armani, here we go. So, this is Main Accords is white, floral, fresh, green, fruity, citrus, sweet, musky, salty, aquatic, powdery. Now, this is a salty fragrance. This gives me ocean, like you took ocean water and seasoned it with some sweet ish and dropped just a pinch. Just a, just a little bit of the best, freshest, nicest grass on the green, this green earth, on this planet. I don't really get powdery, um, but it's wonderful. It's This is my favorite. This was launched in 2020, so it's relatively new. And this is, this is a floral fruity, but I'm telling you right now, that to me, this is falling under that fresh. And as you can see with those accords... I know a little of what I'm talking about. So top notes is pear, citruses, and green notes. Middle notes is water, jasmine, salt. Lily of the valley, rose. Base notes is musk and sandalwood. Listen, what is up with this water something or another? Water, jasmine, water, higher. <laughs> this is, these flowers have water, like whatever. So I don't really catch any, I don't, I don't feel like I catch pear in here, but maybe I'm wilding. Let me give that a second to get this life together. Oh, actually, I do smell the pear pinch, but the citrus is in here is strong. The green note, it's just, it's not, it's not a strong green note. Because I'm really not a big fan of super green smelling fragrances. It's just like, like I said, just a few little drops of the best grass grown on this planet. It's fresh, it's clean, it's, it's slightly sweet. That salty note is there. It's strong. It's there. So if you don't like saltiness in your fragrances, this is not that girl for you. I don't really smell rose in here. And when I put it on my body, it's definitely not on here at all. Um, this is my longest fresh and clean, what I identify as fresh and clean, fragrance that I own. I wore this to bed the other day. When I tell you I woke up, brush my teeth, wash my face, moisturize, clean, feed the babies. And had, had my first one in my room. And I still smelt it. I was shook. I actually had to go and do. I did a little rinse, 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 rinse. Because that's the only place that I put it when I go to my bed. Before I put on my scent of the day. Because I can still smell it. I could still smell it myself. So I just didn't want to clash with what I wore. Um, today's scent of the day is actually. I don't need a prince by my side in order to be a princess. By Killian. <laughs> I wanted to say that because I think that is the best freaking name for a fragrance that I've ever heard in my life. 
I don't care that it's a whole freaking sentence technically it's the best aka just princess but I just think that's like basic let's just say the name like it is okay I don't need a prince by my side in order to be a prince princess boom boom and I don't have the oh not in order I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess excuse me so sorry Killian but I fixed it this is the one I have and I want the big one it smelled so good i went out to eat with my cousins and they told me i smelled delicious she was like oh my gosh it smells so nice what is the oh my gosh and i had to tell her i had to tell her i had to gas it up this is amazing i will one day own the at least preferably the bigger one but at least the one ounce one because this right here is that girl that girl when i hear people this gives me the older sister right that is rich herself who then also married a rich man they are kind they donate she has her own fundraiser to help people she's a part of she's a part of the alphabet mafia she loves people she supports um black and brown people whether or not she's black and brown herself she honestly is just that girl she's that person she's that woman she is whatever she wants to identify as that i with respect with all of it to ariana grande's cloud for some reason they give me similar vibes she also gives me similar vibes although cloud doesn't give me similar vibes to like the softer more gentle version of tobacco vanilla which i absolutely love as well and I'm not sure what about this reminds me of tobacco vanilla, but something in here, I have to go look in these notes really, um, to really, something in here just gives me slight chai tea latte vibes, very, very, very slight, whereas tobacco vanilla is heavy chai tea latte vibes, which is why I feel like they identify and then they identify. So like, maybe like tobacco vanilla is like that rich grandmother, but on this, there's like, the side and maybe they're like half sisters i don't know my point is this is that girl um but this is that girl as well like this falls under the fragrance family that i'm used to so she shouldn't even be in this i'm just mentioning her because she was my scent of the day but this the fact that this doesn't even fall under typically what i would have reached for i mean the name of it is ocean guys if it, that's not an aquatic fresh type of scent why I don't know like i i get it falls under like the fruity category i think that's what they put it under because it is definitely fruity as but this is definitely fresh aquatic salty it's so delicious and perfect literally george armani could not have made this any better there was nothing they could have done to make this better in this bottle you this bottle i love bottles that are simple but chic and then the cap does the mostest to the mostest of bestestness this is giving me some type of pretty stone you would pay nice money for this is beautiful this is amazing the bottle speaks to the juice uh the juice speaks to itself and the whole thing is just perfect perfect to me let me know if you guys have any fresh and clean fragrances that may not this may not be your particular category but you love those particular scents so i can go smell them myself and see if i also agree with you if not that's your business um however if if fresh clean aquatic is a scent profile that you actually typically like to smell like let me know what are your top ones and i'll give those a shot as well thank you so much for watching the whole video i really really appreciate it if you lasted this long go ahead and just drop that like comment and subscribe okay your girl is coming your girl is coming to enter the big dog arena here on youtube so support me because i'm posting often okay bye bye <laughs>